This is how you receive your uh, Blueboard LPC2148 development kit. Uh, let's uh, open up the box and have a look at the board. This is how a Blueboard LPC2148 looks like. Uh, um, let me just walk you through the features on the Blueboard. It has a character LCD display. It has two UARTs. This is UART 0 and UART 1. It has a USB interface. Then you have a reset switch. This switch is for ISP. That's used when you want to program it through UART 0 using ISP programming mode. This is a power on off switch that is used when you power it through a DC jack. Now please make a note. The DC jack that you need to use is minimum of 6.5 volt and a maximum of 9 volts uh, with 1 ampere current rating. This is a VGA interface. This is a SD bar yes. MMC interface. This is an external interrupt line coming out as a user input button. This is a buzzer. This is a JTAG interface. Then you have audio out coming out here. Then this is your uh, PS2 keyboard interface. And these are 8 LEDs connected over the SPI bus through a 595 IC. And also the board has two 10K ports connected. One port is fed as an input to one of the ADC channel of the controller. Another port is used to control the contrast of the LCD. Another feature that uh, I would like to bring to your notice is the breakout uh, approach of this blue board. You can see that you can connect a 2.54 mm Berg header here and uh, then disconnect all the peripherals. And please make a note, all these peripherals can be configured via jumpers. For example, I don't wish to use these LEDs, I can pull out these jumpers and then uh, you can always use your add-on card and then use it for your own purpose. So essentially, if you disconnect all the jumpers and uh, put your breakout board, put a board over on top of this, it's as good as a LPC2148 breakout board. Now let me just demonstrate to you all the features. Here we go. Let me turn this on. First thing that you will see is a VGA interface being activated. Secondly, you will hear a ding sound that is connected through audio out. You will see the LEDs glowing in a pattern. Now the board says that SD card and I2C prom, I2C EEPROM are fine. The EEPROM is connected over I2C bus and SD card is connected through the to the SPI, another SPI uh, interface of the LPC2148. Right now I am using a 2GB card. You can also use, I mean currently I am using a SD card, you can always use a MMC card too. Now let me just walk you through the features. I would like to start with the LEDs. Uh, we have a very simple application written here. The ADC input actually the LPC reads the ADC input and can control the number of LEDs that are being turned on. Now as I am decreasing the ADC value the number of LEDs that are on decreased and now I am increasing the ADC value and you see that number of LEDs are going on. So here we go. This is a repetition of this. Another part as said before it's used for controlling the contrast. You can see the LCD contrast being varied. Now let me demonstrate a keyboard interface to you. This is my, you can just connect any common uh, available keyboard, PS2 in keyboard interface and whatever you type in will start appearing at the LCD screen. Look at the second line, I am typing hello world. It's a very simple application. Audio, we've already had a look at the audio interface where in the beginning it uh, sent out a ding message. This is a JTAG interface for your JTAG uh, debugging. This is a buzzer and the inter external interrupt line. And both can be demonstrated at the same time. Whenever there is a user input, you'll hear a buzzer sound. And uh, as we know, we already see that SD card, the blue board says that SD card is okay. If you don't connect, the message you read out is SD card not okay. 
Next, BGA. We've already had a look at the BGA interface too. Now coming to reset switch, I need not explain anything. Let us have a look at the USB interface. I just connect this USB interface. We have a very simple application written to demonstrate the USB usage and uh, it enumerates as a virtual COM port and uh, I'm going to talk to this is the one you can see that the blue board is enumerated here as COM18 and here's what I'm getting this is a simple loopback where it sends out some message over the USB interface similarly uh, similar in, uh, exam, uh, demonstration can is applicable to the UART interface as well. Let me demonstrate that to you. Here we go. Right now, I have connected the UART cable to UART 0, and you will see the messages coming out. And please look at this it says UART 0. Now, I connect back the same cable. To UART 1 and you see the message is coming over UART 1 so that's all about it